Tonight, the state laying out its plan to save a total of five Stewart hospitals caught up in the group's bankruptcy troubles. Thank you for joining us tonight here on the News at 8. I'm Courtney Cole. St. Elizabeth seized by the state because officials say those bankruptcy banks are not acting in the best interest of the Commonwealth. Tonight, though, there are still growing questions about why the state couldn't use a similar plan to save other hospitals set to close like Kearney in Dorchester. And that's where we find WBZ's Mike Sullivan, who joins us live in Dorchester tonight. Mike. Well, today really is bittersweet. If you live near any of those five hospitals, you can breathe a sigh of relief as care will remain nearby. Now, if you live in Dorchester, near here at Kearney Hospital, you have only a few weeks until it closes. It's the end of a dark chapter. Governor Maura Healy declaring the state is officially done with bankrupt Stewart Health. It was something that was created by the greed and the exploitation of an individual Ralph De La Torre, and members of his team. State officials will save five of the seven hospitals headed for closure. Four have qualified bidders, and a fifth, St. Elizabeth, will be taken over by eminent domain until it can be overturned to Boston Medical Center. Kearney Hospital in Dorchester and Neshoba Valley Medical Center in Ayer will still close on August 31st. Governor Maura Healy saying Stewart run those hospitals too far into the ground. Unlike the other hospitals, there was no hospital operator willing to come forward with a bid to continue operations. Nonetheless, caregivers and city leaders in those areas are feeling frustrated and left out. They were just told last night by the Department of Health there's nothing they can do. Now they are learning five other hospitals will be spared. The Department of Public Health does not have the ability nor the authority to prevent or deny closure of this hospital. There is a bidder, but the state won't support them. They're absolutely 100% is a bidder, and you know whether they've given up now, I have no idea. So what makes a qualified bidder? Unfortunately, the way this process has worked is that uh, Stewart has gotten to decide who the qualified bidders are, which is kind of like having the fox in the hen house. John Fitzgerald is the city councilor for Dorchester. He is trying desperately to save Kearney Hospital. Is having a qualified bidder a, a legal necessity to use eminent domain? Uh, because if it's not, then eminent domain can be used. And if it is, what are we doing to create the environment to get a qualified bidder to the table? He will now be calling on state and city leaders to answer that question. And 10 days ago, the town of Ayr issued a formal statement to Governor Haley asking for her to issue a public health emergency for Neshoba Valley Medical Center. They also want to see the 120 day state mandated closure put in place. And that additional time may allow for a bidder to come up. I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.